war-stricken pets await new life at Kiv shelter. Ukrainian vet Natalia Mazur cradles Merzik, a big green-eyed tabby, in her arms at a makeshift animal rescue shelter in Kiv. The three-year-old cat comes from Butcha, a suburb of the Ukrainian capital now synonymous with alleged Russian war crimes since Moscow launched its invasion of Ukraine nearly four months ago. His owner in Butcha survived shelling and the occupation, Mazur explains. But eventually she died. She couldn't endure the situation. Merzik's fate is shared by animals across the country who have suffered alongside humans since Russia invaded on February 24 despite great lengths to save them. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. Footage of Ukrainian civilians evacuating their devastated homes with their beloved dogs and cats in their arms went viral at the start of the conflict. But like people who stayed behind, animals have been killed or wounded by Russian shelling. Many have lost their homes or owners. Other pets have been lucky. Rescued by civilians or soldiers and brought to shelters like Mazars to be fed and cared for, they have a chance of a new life and potentially new owners. New Homes Since Mazars set up her temporary shelter at the end of March in southern Kiev, 132 animals from the region around the capital in the east, the current epicenter of the fighting, have lived here. 97 of them have already found new owners, a sign perhaps of the human need for positivity and kindness to offset the bleakness of war. There are currently 19 dogs and 9 cats in the sanctuary, some jumping about and barking, others curled up in their enclosures. A dark dog lies peacefully on a rug. The paper card attached to his wooden door says his name is Kai. He is 7, and he arrived on April 19 from Borodyanka, a northwest suburb of Kiev, where Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky accused the Russians of atrocities much more horrific even than Butcha. Kai has been defleed and has a good appetite. Need for care. When the war began, the number of homeless pets shot up, says Mazur, who also heads Kiev's animal hospital. We set up this shelter with the help of the Kiev authorities and volunteers to look after pets and help find them new families. It is housed in one of the pavilions of an open-air exhibition center. Volunteers come and go, inspecting the animals, feeding them and taking them for walks around the grassy grounds. If the pet has lost its owner and remained in a place where there's fighting and explosions, then first of all it needs socialization, Mazur explains. They're used to being with humans, so they need tenderness and care. They need someone to sit and talk to them. Animals have also helped the war effort, some famous in Ukraine for their unusual abilities. Love Animals at Jack Russell called patron rose to nationwide renown for helping sappers dem in areas recaptured from Russian forces. Patron, who has more than 290,000 followers on Instagram, received a medal for dedicated service from Zelensky in May and was awarded a special prize at the Cannes Film Festival the same month. In the Kiv shelter, volunteers shower the animals with affection. My wife and I love animals very much, Mitro Popov tells AFP, after walking a small dog with a fluffy tail across the park. We want a dog, but we are not allowed to have one in our rented apartment. So, we decided to come here and help as much as we can, the 28-year-old botanist smiles. Earlier in the day, another two dogs were picked up by their new owners. I've been friends with dogs since I was a child, 31-year-old volunteer Yuri Manko says. I don't know what will happen tomorrow, but I want to keep coming here, 